Morning. Woke up today and had pretty bad bad hair. Just kind of brushed over and stuff. But uh, I definitely think it's time to have some coffee. But uh, I'm joined by this cat. She is very noisy and very annoying. Yeah. You don't know what you want. She's probably the nicest cat that I've ever known and the most fussy. I know cats are sometimes demanding, but she takes it to another level. But yeah, I'll, uh, I'll join you after coffee. So for dinner, I'm making burgers. And considering it's just me and my sister for dinner, with the rest, I'm going to make some meatballs. So what we have on the right is egg with salt, pepper, ground coriander, sage and black onion seeds. That's going to be our seasoning. And on the left, we have 500 grams of beef minced. So the idea is I'm going to put the egg into the mince and I'm going to mix it around by hand. And by doing that, I'm going to warm up the fat in the meat which means that it will hold together its shape better when I turn it into burgers or into meatballs. So, catch you when that's done. Here are my two burgers already done. The one on the left is mine, it's a little bit thicker, and the one on the left is for my sister. I decided to only go for one considering I have chips as well. They're ready to be cooked. They're about... about my hand size, the palm. It's probably about three inches by three inches by about half an inch. Mine might be three quarters. And here is the rest of the meat. I started making some meatballs. And then I just tear a bit off and roll it into a ball. It doesn't need to be really neat. But you don't want to do them too big otherwise it will take them long to cook and you want to get them all relatively the same size because otherwise you can have some pretty odd dishes but yeah I'll, uh, I'll show you what they're like when they get out so this is the meatballs done all the nice regularly sized balls these are ready to go in the freezer and to be taken out another day for pasta good stuff Making burgers is not something I do really regularly, but um, it's not uncommon when I have burgers and stuff to make them. And well, if you have leftovers, then meatballs is a pretty good alternative to use. Um, the thing that I like about it is that you get to choose how you season it. And if you have time or not in a rush you can season it early and put it in the fridge and then that seasoning gets into the meat even more so it just makes them easier even tastier when you cook them also that happens with the meatballs when you put them in the freezer they still kind of marinate the meat so depending on what meat you use and what seasoning you use you can make a, a an infinite possibility of burgers and as long as you're using good quality mints then it doesn't really matter um, when I say good quality mints I just mean standard mints from a supermarket you don't unless you use something like frozen mints that would probably not be very good because I find that goes quite crumbly so maybe good for other applications not burgers um, yeah I, I really like doing it and you get to tailor it to how you're feeling or just what you like. I think one of the favourite burgers I had was with some turkey, turkey and beef mints. Or you could go uh, take some sausages and let them uh, cut, cut the skins off and mix that with some bacon. And oh, they're, they're really good. But yeah, I'll stop thinking about food porn because I'm just making myself hungry. So yeah, I'll uh, cut back in when uh, the burgers are done. Uh, one thing 
to note though, uh, I'm cooking these ones in the oven and I do them 10 minutes on each side. Should be fine for the thickness and I don't mind mine uh, a little bit red in the middle. The meat's all fine. And uh, yeah, so 10 minutes each side, but when cooking burgers and if you want, you have like a pan or a griddle pan, you, you can just fry them. There's nothing wrong with that. That should be fine as long as you don't uh, burn them on one side. But I guess that normally happens more when you use it in the oven anyway. So yeah, I'm doing mine at 200 degrees for 10 minutes because uh, I'll take them out and flip them over so the oven will cool a little bit. So yeah, it's I really enjoy making burgers and meatballs and stuff. It's really fun to experiment. So yeah. So I just took the burgers out halfway through and flipped them over. I told you my cat is annoying or my mum's cat. Ugh. So yeah, I uh, took them out, flipped them over. They're looking really good. Now for the other 10 minutes, I'm going to cut up some cheese and get the salad out. I think uh, how to make a burger is definitely another topic for another day because it's just as controversial. I think she can smell the meat and that's why she's meowing. Yeah, there we go. So here's the finished result. Mayonnaise, burger, cheese, chili sauce, salad, mayonnaise, bun. Chips with vinegar. Don't have much to mark ketchup, so a bit more mayonnaise today. I'm going to enjoy this later. So this is what it looks like inside. And it tastes really good. I'm really pleased. And I'm looking forward to the meatballs too. So yeah, thanks for watching Vent Day 7. Hope you had a good day. Bye.